The second St. Lucia Triathlon has been successfully concluded here, with Martinique securing the top three places. St. Lucia teams did well finishing in the top ten. We will have those results in a short while, but first, let us hear from John Lunt, the main coordinator of the St. Lucia 2014 Triathlon. Um, talk to us a little bit about how things are going so far. Yeah, really good. Great turnout. Probably over 200 people taking part this year. We're from uh, almost six, 16 nations. So uh, really pleased the way uh, the St. Lucians are warming to my sport of triathlon. You said warming, but it's a little cooler today. A little bit cooler, yeah. A little bit of rain forecast, but touch wood, it's staying dry. So uh, fingers crossed. By the end of the race, we should be okay. Are these better conditions for, for, for triathletes? Uh, triathletes love the warm weather and they love the sunshine. With it being a little bit cooler today in, uh, in St. Lucia, it's actually helped those guys racing. I might be anyone, a lone fool out in the sun. Yeah. You had a chance to interact with some young St. Lucian students and people who were involved. Give us a sense of how confident are you that triathlon can grow in St. Lucia? Well, I think we saw a young boy in the uh, in the long event in the swim today it was absolutely brilliant. He's only 12, you know, and you, you, there's even in St. Lucia, it's a small island, but you're, uh, you've got to give people the chance to see things like that. So they think, oh, maybe I could go and do that. I went to a school earlier in the week. We were chatting to the kids about, look, you never know. Give it a go. Have a try. Um, you know, you do, everything doesn't have to be just about football or cricket. Uh, you know, there's lots of other things to do. And... You know, this, the triathlon's a great event because it's swimming, running, riding, you know, you can, you don't have to be brilliant at anything, but you know, just a little bit of training, um, come and have a bit of fun, and you never know what might happen. There's plenty of people who end up at the Olympic Games and never ever thought they would be there. Best part for you? The heat. It's very, very hot. Not used to this in London. <laughs> yeah. yeah, perfect weather today. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. In terms of the course as well, what is the toughest part for you on the course? Uh, the hills on the bike, definitely. Yeah, very hilly. And what is the most enjoyable for you? Uh, finishing. <laughs> I love the swim. That's my strong thing. And the run, I'm very slow. So it's a real struggle for me, the run. <laughs> Here are some of the results. The top three finishes went to Martinique, with Clement Brier securing the best finish in a time of 1 hour 53 minutes and 58 seconds. Second best finisher was Stephanie Marlier of Martinique in 2 hours 9 minutes and 24 seconds. Third place went to Mathilde Batelier of Martinique in a time of 2 hours 11 minutes and 22 seconds. In fourth place was Frank Sylvester of St. Lucia. In fifth place, Phoebe Sanders of the United Kingdom. And coming in in sixth and seventh, Barry Crane and Ben Gilmore of St. Lucia. Calabash TV will later this week present a special report on the 2014 St. Lucia Triathlon. And that is how we conclude our report for tonight. I am Natalie Jodifanis, wishing you a safe evening.